beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers Jesus, even while this in your life now that even when it is physical rainy season that we it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise us, i declare and declare we let the rain begin to fall we with god and then we can do this through prayer through the word of god and even as we are about listening to that so i want us to do something we are going to like this video so then please hit on the like button if you have not done so this helps youtube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed and stay blessed to someone by your left and right and um, appreciate them hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah it's amazing i kept thinking about the faithfulness of god this is November, and God has proven again that he's reliable. Hallelujah. That he can be trusted. If you can trust a man that is mundane and can change in a moment, I can like you today and hate you tomorrow. And if you ask me why, I will say it's my choice. Is that true? I can hate you tomorrow and like you the next tomorrow when you put your arm your strength on men it is so unreliable the best of any man can change overnight i can promise to give you more and say i can't remember and just because my memory failed me you will be punished but the bible says this word has been tried seven times listen carefully it's not just a book that makes people spiritual it's more than that this is a compendium of the mind of christ listen carefully the bible is a compendium of the ways of god this is the ancient secret of an unbeatable life the ancient secret behind strange results those who can be foolish enough foolish enough childlike enough brothers and sisters this is the book that turns a poor man into levels of stupendous wealth this is the book that turns a sinner and makes he a man of god out of him listen to me this is the book that turns a man who cannot pay a rent of ten thousand to now own an estate this is a book that can make a confused young man not knowing what to do with his life to become one who will govern kings and nations this book has led many we are not the first to hold it there are many ancient hands that held this book they were stupid enough to read everything there and they believed god they believed him that's the point it's not just reading it they saw it and they believed and god performed wonders in and through their life today we have come in the midst of history we are not starting anything new we just have followed them who through faith and patience when they taught us they taught us to trust the word and so we believe the word listen it may not yet look like everything is appearing but let me tell you the truth your destiny is too small to make the word of god fail for the first time no sir no sir no sir god used this word to humble the pride of wicked kings who were their confidence were built upon divinations that had been tried for a long time 
Yet the word of God brought them to their knees. If I trust any other thing in life and I do not trust the word of God, I'm a foolish man. Praise the Lord. This is the secret. I have a name that I call the Bible. I don't call it the Bible. It is my roadmap to accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. I study the Bible like an archaeologist, like someone who has lost a treasure and is looking for it. I keep saying it that the secret to the future is in the past. When you can go behind, the ancient part is not the part of a nomination. The ancient part is a part where you open. What did Jacob see? What did the psalmist see? And if the spirit of revelation opens your eyes to see it, ah, brothers and sisters, you create your own reality and walk in it as if Satan does not exist. This is what makes those who don't understand these mysteries. They think that, you know, when men of God talk like this, they are arrogant. Your reality is based on what your eyes have seen. You must believe this. Your reality is based on what your eyes have seen. It is important for you to understand. Please let me have your attention. It is very important. There is nothing that is built by magic. There is nothing that is built by gimmicks. This is it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see you. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word, and I will forever sing. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word, I will sing now for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your words, and I will forever sing your praise. Listen, if I ask you to stand up now and I tell you what is the basis of your confidence, somebody will say, My father is coming out for election, and some person in presidency promised him that this turn is his turn to eat. That is complete nonsense. It's human beings that vote somebody in and out and they can change their minds overnight. Another person will say his brother is the manager of XYZ and because he's sitting on money he will bless him. Hear what the Bible says. He says for by the arm of flesh. Did you hear that? By the arm of flesh shall no man prevail no man prevail you know I have become addicted to this book it's not because I'm a preacher Jesus gave a parable I did not understand for many years he said the kingdom is like a man who is looking for a treasure the treasure is missing and then he lights a candle and goes around the room. The treasure is not the word. The treasure is the result you are looking for. But he tells you how to look for it. You light the candle. You carry an empty candle. You, you keep roaming around. An empty candle is a Bible you brought from Zondavan. And you drop. That's an empty candle. But when the illumination of the spirit is upon it. You carry it and move around. When you find it. It comes life to you. Then you communicate a dimension of results. That will dumbfound principalities and powers. Let me tell you. Don't ever doubt a man whose confidence is based on something he has caught in the word. 
You will be angry forever. You will dream forever. No. Anything that is not a derivative of the word, I don't trust it because I don't have control over it. The Bible says he upholds all things. That includes my destiny. He upholds all things by the word of his power. We need to be a confident people. Listen, not just believers, confident people. A depth of conviction and persuasion that is brought about by this. The illumination of the spirit upon this word. So you search for it. Crime in scriptures is not just, it's not the key to understand the word. That's not just how it works. Many of us have memory of scripture, which is not bad in itself, except for the fact that it has no ability to empower you just like that. It's like carrying granite seed and chucking it in your pocket. Do you have a harvest? Will it grow, sir? The word is the seed. That's what Jesus said. The soil is your heart. The rain is the Holy Spirit. You can plant a seed and dry season will kill it into nothing. The seed is not wrong, but the anointing. You see that? The rain that comes upon the seed. Brothers and sisters, please, I want you to pay attention. For every time God gives us the privilege to converge like this, it is not the advancement of a man's agenda. It is the progression of your accessing the mysteries that will cause you to command dominion. Let me tell you something. There is a dimension of light that we are going to project to the world that will dumbfound principalities and powers. Yes. A dimension of light. Young people will rise up with a level of strange prosperity that people will say, no, no, no. Are these guys scammers? Are they fraudsters? We say, no. We found an ancient secret that can allow men to be blessed and focus on their assignment. You see that? You will rise with a strange level of the anointing that will make even herbalists to wonder and say, I'm a herbalist, but this is strange. It will happen. I am an archaeologist. I search it. I don't read the Bible to finish it. I read the Bible to find what I'm looking for. And sometimes you can find one verse and stay there. That's where the goal is. So if you are, all you are doing is just to finish, I read Psalms 5 today. You came close to the gold mine and carelessness took you away. And you go somewhere. It is scripture. But it's not the word of God. The word of God is that part of scripture that gives you life. So many people brag religiously. I started studying the Bible by January and now I'm in Revelations 22. Call the person and say, how many treasures did you find? Even one. One! The only thing they find is an accolade that I searched the scripture. But someone will come with an honest heart and open one scripture. You heard what that gentleman said? He used the way, the truth, the life. Alone. Imagine what else we can find. I've shared with you my vision years ago when I was caught up in the spirit and I saw a big gate and that gate was made of small, small doors. You know, they were opening and closing and light was emitting from every one of them. And then I kept looking and I noticed it was zoomed to me and I saw scripture written on every door. And the doors were opening and closing and I was asking the Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord said, every time you catch a revelation, the light component that is the performer of that revelation anything you claim you have caught and you cannot bring it to the scene is a lie you have not gotten it yet please pray and say lord by your mercy open my eyes today this kind of prayer you must add the mercy of god in it because what else will you say by what lord i cry by your mercy Open my eyes to see. Sakatos kaparonda zigata paliata. You have spoken great things, but until my eyes see it, there is no possession. It says, as far as your eyes can see. Are we praying? Shh.
Open my eyes. Show me where the anointing for the next level is. Open my eyes. Show me where the key to my lifting is. Open my eyes. Show me where the river is in the desert. Open my eyes. Oh God, many people will be hearing many things, but show me my own. And the word of the Lord came. And the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord has always been around. The word of the Lord came. Let my word come. The word of the Lord came. Hallelujah. Listen, let me teach you something about the mercy of God. Every time you want to access the spirit of revelation, ask the Lord to release it by his mercy. There is no known formula I know for receiving the spirit of revelation. It is by the mercy and the grace of God that the eyes of a man be open. In scripture, the eyes of a man was open when he said, Thou son of David, have... He didn't say, Thou son of David, don't pass me by. He would have remained there crying till Jesus. That was the last time Jesus would pass Jericho. But I saw a relationship between the mercy of God and the spirit of revelation. Is Thou son of David, will I remain blind like this forever? Have. He never said, I want to walk. The walking is a subset of the mercy when illumination come. Oh, I want to see. I want. Mm -mm. Thou son of David, have mercy. It's a language God cannot pass by. No matter what you know to do at once, God hears mercy. He remembers the blood and he turns. What should I do for you? You didn't call me correctly. Oh, I hope you know. Yes, that's why I said mercy. I don't even know your name. I said son of David. Whether you are carpenter or Jesus, I added mercy to my confusion. Have mercy on me. That's how you can see someone who will be bragging around. I went to theological school and teaching nonsense and jargons. And someone will sit down and say, Lord, I came from the village. There was no light in our community. But Lord, I know that I've been seeing myself in dreams. Ministering and raising the, the dead and watches. Can you open my eyes by your mercy and the spirit of revelation comes. Boom. One scripture. He may not be able to quote everything. One scripture. And with that scripture, you will do exploits. I'd like you to prepare your spirit. Because what I want to share with you tonight will bless you in no small way. People come to the house of God for many years, Jimmy. And you find out that they are not growing. How do you grow? There are two indices for growth. It's no confusion. Number one is the degree to which you are conforming experientially to the image of Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. If you are not understanding the precepts of the kingdom, you are not growing, sir. Whether they ordain you pastor, apostle, deacon, once you are not accessing the mystery of the kingdom, you are not growing. It's as simple as that. Because that's how we reign in this kingdom. On the strength of mysteries. What do you know now that took away fear from you? The fear you had in January. What entered you that can give you confidence to look at it and say, no way, not again. If your fear of January is still your fear of today, you made the word of God unfruitful in your life. Someone entered this year wondering and right now the person is just laughing at the same situation as they say that no 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 that one that was that was last year's challenge you won't talk that nonsense with me again because you know what to do not bold face for nothing for Jesus himself knew what to do my assignment in this ministry is that by the privilege of God's election and grace I will continue to show you what to do the result you desire versus the mystery that connects it. That's my assignment. To continue to show you that the kingdom is a compendium of possibilities. But accessing them are predicated upon your knowledge of the mystery allocated for that result. Not the mystery available. The mystery that is allocated. 
You want to be blessed. Anything in the Bible will not bless you anyway. You have to find the one that is allocated for you. You don't put rice in a pot and when it boils, you lift it up and see beans. You will see food, but not beans. If it's beans you want to cook, you better find out one, where to get beans, two, how to cook it. Correct? So anything in the kingdom is not what you are looking for. There are people who are blessed financially, but this sickness will kill you. You go to the hospital and treat it to refuse to come. Brothers and sisters, there is an allocation. You have to find out. There are pastors who are so anointed, they can raise the dead, but you, they will never have up to 30 members. There is a mystery that keeps men. People are not stupid to just come and sit down, sit outside, endure all kinds of things. No, sir. My assignment is that by the agency of the Spirit that I communicate to you the mysteries, when you gather them together like this, it's like a chain that connects you and heaven. When you move in life, the moment a challenge comes, you smile because you understand the key to address it. Fear and ignorance and pain is a revelation of your bankruptcy of the understanding of the mystery that is tied to a result you are looking for. There are things I used to fear years ago. I don't fear them again. I didn't cast out the spirit of fear. Understanding took me out of that realm. You see that? Yes. So please, I want us to focus. When you see us cry for the spirit of understanding, this thing is not just, even this anointing, because you see many people, especially ministers, this is what we are all looking for. Anointing. Anointing is not just a generic oil that comes on your head. This anointing you see has dynamics. It doesn't just work anyhow. How many people are you going to lay hands on on your life? Won't it kill you? There is a system. There are many means of transportation. There is bicycle. There is jet. If you want to arrive Lagos with a bicycle, you may die before you arrive there. That's how the dispensing of the anointing is. You will meet people. There are Knowing the vehicle is not just enough. You must understand the system of helping it reach people. There's somebody seated outside. Another overflow. There's somebody online in another nation. How do you, if all you know is just to lay hands on people, how do you bless those who are far? Please pray before I start teaching one minute and say, Lord, change my level. Insist, please pray. Change my level. Paul said, I went up by revelation. Show me something. Lord, where I am is a revelation of my limited knowledge. I take responsibility and I admit, open my eyes. Satan can't be that powerful. There's something I am not seeing. Lord, I've been falling under the anointing, but that anointing has not healed one sick body. There is something I'm not getting. I have been sowing seeds, but a harvest has not been coming. What is blocking it? What more do I need to know? Hallelujah. Please sit down. <laughs> mm. The Bible says, when you read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 18, it says, having their understanding darkened. Paul is teaching here. And then he says, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Ignorance alienates a man from the life of God. The experience of that Zoe life. Are we together now? That their understanding is darkened. That's the issue. Then it says that as a result of that darkened understanding, they are being alienated from the experience of the kingdom. So they may have semblance of what should be, but never enter into the experience of it. Most people are not in ignorance of what their life should be. They know what they should become. But the power to make it happen. 
that is a derivative of light. You know you should be more anointed than now. You know you should be more prosperous. But what is the limitation? It says, haven't their understanding darkened? And then alienated from the life of God on the strength of the ignorance that is in them. I came angry in my spirit. Oh. We'll, be, we'll pray. I trust God for grace. So that we'll finish fast and just have some few minutes to pray. First Peter 5.10 Just one scripture. There is a level of rest. I began to perceive in my spirit that many of us were ordained by God to enter this year. That we have not entered. And my assignment is to insist that these two months left, we must force something to happen. The Bible says, but the God of all grace, listen, who had called us into eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after you have suffered, the word suffered there is endured, endured with certain things a while, what will he do? make you perfect uh-huh establish you uh-huh strengthen you uh-huh set to you give you stability these four things must happen to someone's life between this november and december listen i really want you to believe me because believers are the ones who are possessors are we together it says after you have and you have put up with certain things for a while Put up with poverty for a while. Put up with pain for a while. Put up with disappointment. Listen, it can't be forever. No, sir. A book has many pages. When you stay on one page forever, it's a curse. After you have suffered a while. The Bible says weeping and just for a night. If you cry to the next morning, cry in the afternoon cry till another night that crying has violated god's ordinances he allows people to only weep in the night after you have suffered for a while make you perfect establish you establish you then he says strengthen you all kinds of might financial might intellectual might then he says set to you said to you you are unmovable you have gotten to a level where you are not afraid uh -uh. the lord declared that this is a year of triumph i believe this so when god gave me this scripture it entered my spirit and the lord began to communicate to me and say son you have not hit my expectation for the year this triumph there is there is something there is there is a dimension of testimony that is not yet rampant here and there like rain people are getting it but it is in a ministry of thousands of people if only four people testify as a man of god not failed four over thousands is zero round it up is zero so there is a dimension the services that remain for this year will be very strangely prophetic services i tell you there are services meant at pushing people to force the reality of this world because brothers and sisters God cannot lie God cannot lie God cannot lie God cannot lie so the Lord showed me this scripture and it really really blessed me tonight I'm going to teach very briefly on the mystery of divine intervention the mystery of divine intervention what is the spiritual secret behind calling God in the time of trouble and let him show up and bail you out what is the system in the kingdom that has been built where men when you need the help of God when your life is faced with an emergency and you need to call heaven brothers and sisters there are emergencies in our lives that require access to this system the mystery of divine intervention the Bible is full of near, near shame experiences 
where God got up, showed up for individuals, showed up for the nation of Israel. God turned the lives of people around overnight. Let me show you one scripture you will want to know. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Learn this scripture, add it to your spiritual arsenals. You will need it, I guarantee you. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 9. I want us to run uh, tonight. Read it with me please. One, two, read. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly from temptation or oppression or calamities and to reserve the unjust unto the day. The Lord knows how to exchange experiences that he looks as child and says for my name's sake, come promise. That he looks at this person who calls upon his name and watches that this guy is getting into trouble. He says God knows how to exchange people and carry this person out and drop the wicked for the punishment that is allocated for the righteous. It's called intervention. There is a system in God. Listen, please. There is a system in God where God can plug men out of the fire. Remember the story of the three Hebrew boys. The Bible says they found the furnace seven times that those who threw them inside the furnace listen they threw them inside the furnace and the heat killed them and when four of them were inside the king was not a believer but the king had had strange encounters and he saw a face in that fire he had seen in his dream he said I, I look and I see four people and the appearance of the fourth is like the son of God and the Bible says they came out they could not even smell fire what of Daniel that was thrown in the den of the lions because of his prayer life the Bible says the lions were at peace with him and when he came out and they threw those other fellows the lions just devoured them brothers and sisters there is a mystery there is a hidden code of operation allocated to the saints in light to help them deliver them out of all the troubles and the vicissitudes that Satan puts. Because you see, your destiny is a function of many things. And sadly, it includes the lives of others. And that also includes their carelessness. There are times you will get into things you necessarily did not cause. But you will suffer the consequence if you don't know how to exempt yourself. This is like an extension of the mystery of exemption. The mystery of divine intervention where men called upon God and God showed up and turned the lives of nations around turned the lives of individuals around there is a way you call upon God for your personal prayer life but brothers and sisters there is a way you call upon God to intervene on a matter that if he does not intervene sometimes it may be that you are finished There was a time death was killing people in Israel. Killing people. There was a way they called on God. Divine intervention is real. All through scripture we see that God is able to arise. Psalms 102 verse 13. It says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time in God's calendar, there is a time, oh, there is a time to favor Joshua Selman. There is a time to lift me. And you see, the Bible says in Amos chapter 3 verse 9, that God does not do anything but to reveal his secret to his servants, the prophets. So when God is about to do something in a territory, he captures his thoughts in words, in, in similitudes, in, in all kinds of expressions, communicates it to his servants to deliver to the people so that their faith will be connected to what he wants to do in the season. And God has declared that it's a season of triumph. I believe God. It's not just a cliche that a man of God comes to move ministry forward. No, sir. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time, the time to favor her, the time to lift her, the time to honor her. For God's sake, the time to wipe her tears. The time for Zion to say, I am also the bride of a good man. He says the time has come thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her yea the set time is come 
Many people want intervention. Intervention is the supernatural is a supernatural visitation over a man's situation that brings a radical transformation. Supernatural visitation of God. Supernatural visitation of God. All of a sudden, God steps in overnight and changes a man's situation overnight. He says, have you heard this proverb that a city was born in one day? He said, but as soon as Zion travails, in one day she shall put forth a son. Why do we need divine intervention? Because of our imperfection as human beings. The first reason that necessitates divine intervention is that we are inaccurate as human beings. Our inaccuracy as human beings, inaccuracy of understanding and obeying the precepts of God will necessitate God to create that provision. Are we together? If a young man drinks and smokes and gets to a point where he now repents, when his liver is quarter to die, he has repented, but the liver is still going to kill him. That gentleman doesn't just need a healing, he needs a divine intervention. When somebody repents in the prison and is supposed to say 80 years and he went there at 40, you see that he's going to die in the prison, he needs divine intervention. He's born again, but he's in the prison. Our families are in desperate need for divine intervention. Is that true? Hmm. Father not working, mother not working, 13 children, 10 of them not working. All of them graduates. Haba. There is need for a strange intervention. How about human agents? That will sit on your destiny and vow and say for as long as we are here. We fraternize with darkness to jeopardize your confidence about God. I wish there was no such reality. But brothers and sisters, the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the wickedness that lies in our world. I was talking with a young man on phone who sent me a text. I think they worship one kind of idol. And the father has been calling him. I should come back. There's something he's supposed to do. The guy said he's not coming back. After graduating from school, they are asking you to come. They will bath you, put something on your head like a cap, and one kind of ritual like this. After that, they will say you can go. The guy said he's not coming. And the man told him that that thing, whatever it is, will pursue him and look for him. His blood father, the boy was speaking to me. And I said, let me tell you, my brother, if you go there and carry yourself and go and sit down under that whatever it is and they bath you with the blood of an animal and do those rituals, uh-uh, God is able. Rather than wasting your time paying transport, use the money and buy a book that reveals a mystery that you, you keep the enemy at bay because what that shrine is trying to prevent him from will look for him if he doesn't have the mystery allocated. He can make bold face and say, I won't go. But you will soon find out that it will happen to him. First child, dull. Second child, very dull. Third child, very dull. And the person says, I'm brilliant. My wife is brilliant. And he sees that thing in a dream. He says, I, I told you. Ten years ago, you would have rescued your children. See, don't reject darkness without having the light component. Don't just say, I reject darkness. Eh, every shine in my village, God forbid. It's a joke. You must have the light component. Otherwise, I tell you to haunt you and tear you into pieces. There are forces of darkness. We need divine intervention because of our inaccuracy. We need div intervention because, listen, the pace at which darkness attempts to destroy us versus our level of spiritual growth will require divine intervention at some point. Now, look at me. Listen, let me tell you something. In the next 10 years, there are things that I will know then that I don't know now. But Satan is plotting all kinds of schemes over my life 
based on the knowledge I need to know 10 years to come. I need intervention by the mercy of God to give me victory before I enter that level of understanding. If my victory is purely left to my level of understanding alone, it means that I will be punished on many grounds before I come into that knowledge. You need divine intervention. Is God speaking to someone here? Let me tell you this. I am very outspoken about results. I'm not a man of God that will lie to you and say results don't matter. It's a lie. It's a lie. If results don't matter, why do you go to work? Why do you wait for salary at the end of the month? Is that true? Results matter to God, matter to the devil, matters to everybody on earth. Whether we agree or not. Results are consolations to your Christian experience. Whilst it is true that we do not serve God just for results. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you. Even Jesus saw a fig tree that was receiving nourishment from the principle he programmed in the earth. And was not yielding the result. He caused it in annoyance. So God wants us to bear fruit. But there are keys that we must understand. Please look up. There are many of us here and there are many of our family members here. Had they known that there is a mystery that controls divine intervention, many tragedies we now weep over would not have happened. Listen carefully. Are we together now? Yes. Somebody looked at you and vowed and said, Pastor Alpha, I will destroy you. You say, no problem, you wouldn't destroy me, but you did not understand the component, the revelation component, and eventually it caught up with you. I pray for a lady, she probably may be following now online. Married, loved her husband, all of a sudden the husband just changed and became a, a very, very funny man. Doesn't even stay in the same room with her and all of that. And she, she could not take it again and she called me. Do you know, I prayed with that lady and just this morning she sent me a text. She said she woke up in the morning and just saw her husband sitting by her bed. Something brought him. Listen, listen. This is what I, you see, men are slaves to the mysteries that control them. You can program things like a bomb in the spirit and just go and watch it. The same way I can put a bomb and I program blow by 8 o'clock. And then I just move somewhere. And I'm laughing at everybody around here. Because it must blow. Except another agency superimposes it. This is how you can program results. In the realm of the spirit. And watch like a movie. As they unfold in the earth realm. Using things you call circumstances. Coincidences. But you know that they are intentional results. That were programmed by mysteries. This is how I want your life to be. That you can sit down and program growth, program speed, program breakthrough and watch everything like a movie. And day after day, you watch someone get up and say, sorry, Elijah, I, I, I hope this is a new keyboard I bought for you. And you laugh. Something was programmed. Your house that has been 10 years refused to be completed. You program something by understanding and someone comes to say, ah, Sam, I don't know, do you mind me complete this house? And you will say yes because it was intentionally done. You don't say, I'm surprised you are coming. I'm not surprised. You were called. That, are we together? That's why when people die in the villages, the Habalists don't cry. Have you ever seen them crying? No. Something they programmed. They programmed somebody from London and tell him where to come and die. When he dies, other people are crying at the guys as well. It's just to let you know that we are not children. You can program things. From the foundations of the earth, some things were programmed. And the intelligence of the father, he watched everything unfold through redemption. No power could stop it. Satan tried. He entered. He went when Jesus was fasting. Now came and entered Peter. Now came and entered. When he entered Judas, I'm sure Satan thought he was smart. Paul was watching it like a movie and saying, yeah, yeah, had they known this? So this was the caricature that God was making out of Satan. He thought he was smart, but he was, God was using him as a slave. Because you see, when you kill a man, according to scripture, his blood will haunt you. So God made sure it was Satan that killed Jesus. Go 
and read your Bible. Blood is a mystery. It remains on the head of the killer forever. Paul was watching this. Whether he was in a hole, in a cave, in prison, I don't know. But Paul was saying, ah, ah. Satan, couldn't you see? Jesus casted you out of Peter and left you in Judas. You didn't ask why. You just continued until you became a fool. That's the reason why when we invoke the blood, something really happens. It happens to whoever was the killer. When Cain killed Abel, blood cried against him. Cried against him. <laughs> I need divine intervention. You need divine intervention. Samaria needed divine intervention. Please sit down. They got to a point scripture says come that they got to a point where women can you imagine brothers and sisters that you get to a point where you are not just eating goats you are not just eating clothes women you have your child i'm telling you there is a strange grace this year for fruitfulness and miracles in this ministry we have seen very dramatic manifestations and and all of that there are mothers all around with their children Moving left, right, and center. Now imagine Pastor Alpha's that little baby. Imagine Annie holding this her child and saying, Look, there is so much poverty. Pastor Alpha travels somewhere to go and look for food. And she liasses with a Jimmy's wife. Two of them, they carry Jael and carry David. And two of them stand and agree. And they say, We are eating Jael this night. You eat it. What sort of hunger? makes you eat a whole human being now watch this then the bible says they ate the first one then the next day it was the turn to eat the other one and the mother said no and the woman said no you ate my child listen while that confusion was happening the king started passing and they went they said king you can't leave us like this and when all of that happened, the king said, look for Elisha for me. Look for Elisha for me because he had that Elijah program famine. He said, I'm sure Elisha has a hand in this trouble. Go and look for this. This, this guy was mentored by the troublemaker of Israel. Go and look for Elisha. Watch this. While all of this suffering was happening, the Bible says Elisha and the sons of the prophet were, he didn't say they were hungry. When he saw the king coming, he said, this son of a murderer wants to now come and kill me. Oh, yeah, you push, you stop him. And because of that, he said, okay, now he's called my attention. Let me casually do something about what is killing a nation. By this time, Kabakoto Sakataya. By this time, tomorrow. By this time, tomorrow. Listen. He didn't tell you how it will happen. If you understand the superiority of the realm of the spirit, you will never ask how results manifest. You see, let me tell you something. When people argue and say, how did this thing happen? They are not wise. The raw materials that create the earth are resident within the realm of the spirit. He said, by this time tomorrow, by this time, I'm hurrying up. I would have given you scriptures, but I really want us to pray. That by this time tomorrow, they call, hey, please help them. This will cause this and that. And then a foolish man, like many doubters that insult men of God, he said, what are you saying? I, I mean, I'm the minister of this and that. I read this and that. Even if the windows, hey, yeah. he knew that much that heaven had a window. With what did they build the window? He never asked. If God will open the window, will these things be? And the prophet said to me, you will see it all. But they will kill you in front of that breakthrough. Then look at how the miracle happened. The prophecy had been programmed in the spirit. Now it is up to the word. This is where the wisdom of God starts. He starts searching for scenarios in the earth that can bring what is in the spirit to manifest. Are you seeing how prophecy comes to pass? Watch this. Look at this. Let me teach you something. Watch this. Look at me and learn. If I prophesy to you, Emeka, and say by tomorrow, if it is really by the spirit, I say by tomorrow, money is coming to your account. I have placed that word in the spirit. Hold on. 
the word manifests by the wisdom of the spirit let me tell you what the wisdom of the spirit is it will start searching the earth to look for the scenario on earth that is capable of bringing that word down then connect it to the individual listen the wisdom of god will move to a rich man if it's not open it will move to somebody who god had instructed to so if it will keep moving like that that's how the anointing got to Mary to be the mother of Jesus. The Bible never said the name of the mother of Jesus will be Mary. The prophecy started searching for a virgin. When he found one and she said, I'm available, he brought her out. Listen. There are too many activities on earth that can mirror what is happening in the heavens. For God to be bankrupt in terms of manifestation. When God says I want to bless you. He is already speaking to millions of people to sow. It's just that he has not told them who to sow. The wisdom of God can just connect one of them. You see how prophecy works. I'm helping your faith. So that when God says I will do this. You now sit with your limited mind. And say I only know Uncle A and B. And I already know a hey, promise you will never see me. And God is saying, No, we are talking about the wisdom of the Creator. Look at what happened. Four lepers, everybody say, Four lepers. Four lepers were sitting quietly, and the wisdom of God, the spirit of wisdom, because the word of God must come to pass. The man of God had declared it, and the, the anointing came on the lepers. They thought they were just tired. But they didn't know that at that point they were under the influence of a man of God and the word started programming that result they say why sit here till we die even that talk was by the spirit they thought they were gisting and they said look let's just get up and go to the camp of our enemies and tell them kill us but let's eat first the Bible says the moment they began to go God changed their people they began to hear the sounds of chariots and all of listen were they not warriors is it not fight they fought to get those things couldn't they fight again when god wants to bless you he will move your enemy in a way that you will not even know how things happen i know i should not graduate but there is a mystery that can be programmed a man is watching your result 37 over 50 you need 50 something comes on him and he right and he does not even know listen listen people some people hear the testimony of some of our some of the people who wrote jam here that jam changes from 100 and something to two and you hear them talking nonsense talking stupid things and saying how can it happen and i said look, look at this foolishness how does a boil come out of your stomach where did the mass accumulate from that projected out did any part of your body reduce for it to come out did he ask where it came from then when it disappears you say where did it go to you see how we think son of man can these bones live again immediately oh not after 10 years not gradually can these bones live again he said god i've seen many miracles but i've not seen this type that a dry bone is not like a dead human being i believe in raising the dead but dry bones and he said okay i want to show you something that when i show up i compress time and make things happen and he said prophesy prophesy and things began to shift listen it is too late when mysteries have been programmed in the spirit take it from me the moment a man programs something in the spirit you better find a way of countering it in the spirit otherwise it must manifest <laughs> this is what herbalists do they conjure things they conjure spirit and then they tell the person go it is done at the point they said go it is done you didn't feel anything oh go we shall be we put your husband in a bottle and you saw it go it is done the woman will go home and still see her arrogant husband come back and she'll be laughing you're already in a bottle two days later 
physical things start happening in the earth to force him to confirm to what has been programmed after one week the man becomes a toy to her because the realm of the spirit must so you look at a woman who is barren it may look like you just touched her stomach but it's more than that mysteries were programmed in the spirit he said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man he says the power of the highest brothers and sisters i came to prophesy to someone it will be a quick walk oh. it will be a quick walk it will be a quick walk i tell you except it's not the god i told you that the remaining services don't miss them they will be help them please they will be strongly prophetic services strongly prophetic services it will be a quick walk there is a mystery that can push men false prophecy push men it is possible that in one day something can happen to you and you will turn and say god i'm sorry for doubting you when it was time for the animals to enter the ark of noah he didn't call one of them something was manipulated in the spirit all the animals started lining up regardless of their hostilities they lined up and came quietly listen let me tell you something the day i learned the vanity of the physical realm compared to the spiritual realm i stopped wasting my time about physical things trust me i really mean it i saw how helpless the physical realm is that a body without a spirit is dead i stopped wasting my time those who do business do it in the spirit realm they program things in the spirit realm and just watch like strangers how things manifest you program favor and you come and see strangers bringing blessings and people say how is it happening you see what is happening in this ministry submit to you it was programmed it's not a coincidence something took you from where you were and brought you here it's not just that you like a man no it's a mystery that is the same thing that will put a baby in the barren womb it's not when a man meets his wife that she gets pregnant to a man meets his wife to give the child physical form. Do you believe what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something. One of the things we are going to do tonight is to change some things. There are results that are wrong. Something programmed it. It may be our ignorance. It may be something. I bring you a message of hope. The realm of the spirit is still there. That means there is still an ability to access it. Please sit down. I'm just trying to compose myself. My spirit is boiling this night. Listen. Listen. I have experimented this thing too many times. Too many times. Too many times. You can program favor. You can program breakthrough. Listen. You can program judgment on the wicked. You can program speed. The word of God is an instrument of creation. You can create realities that were not there. When you hear people testify, it's not like the testimony was waiting somewhere. A word created it. When you are programming mysteries, you don't attach a face to it. The wisdom of God will create the actors of that mystery in the physical realm you don't say god bless me through my uncle uh -uh. i have accessed the principles that brings a blessing it is god that will start sourcing for the men that will act the movie that will bring your breakthrough he can use a donkey he can use stone it doesn't matter the most important thing is that let it come Are we together? Yes. Ah, I tell you, believe me, brothers and sisters, when I tell you there are more angels on this ground than people sitting. There are more angels, angelic presence. 
I don't know if it's because of what I'm teaching tonight, but I prayed for strange intervention angelic interventions and the lord is just opening my eyes and i'm seeing that there are numerous angels battalions of angels every time god opens do you know why when i speak like this people start manifesting under the anointing because you see when you are open to the realm of the spirit portal is created immediately do you understand and when that portal is created there must be an effect remember when paul saul now saw jesus those there did not see but there was an effect from the realm of the spirit i'm explaining it because it's nothing strange but i stand and i see angels inside outside like this i'm even on that fence you are seeing i'm seeing all kinds of things happening and this is by the power of the spirit i believe that not all the angels are the same they are according to their ranking and their functions according to what kind of intervention must manifest because see our challenges are not the same i know some of you may not have issues but let me tell you there are people the issues you have require recovery restoration judgment on somebody so there are angels that are allocated for that kind of thing was it not an angel that used hailstone and killed hundreds of thousands of people overnight please help them Sabarakotusia man de katos i release angels strange ministry of intervention brakoto soto ketabarata zegete kata by the authority of the most high angelic interventions over lives and families it must end tonight in the name of jesus is a year of triumph it must end tonight skapata katos Zekete kete, zekete, reketo koso pariata, epo shabababababa, manda kato sakata, thou shall arise, thou shall arise, thou shall arise, and have mercy upon Zion. Thou shall arise. God is arising over a family. God is arising over a family. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. You see, Ba, when you come before God's presence, the Bible tells us that upon Mount Zion, many things happen. The innumerable company of angels. These things are not fables. The Bible is not a book for religious people. It is life. It is true. It is our own belief that has made it look like a storybook. That you come to his presence and there is a strange intervention. I say it again in the name of Jesus. As I begin to teach, I've not finished. But in Jesus name, I release the ministry of angels. I release the ministry of angels that whilst the teaching is going on let intervention start in the name of Jesus Christ strange interventions strange interventions please sit down if you can please help those outside very quickly I will give us four keys Let's use 10 minutes. Sorry, I will not be explaining it in depth. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I feel the spirit of prayer here. 
There are four keys to provoking divine intervention. Every time you are in a situation where you need the help of heaven urgently, do these four things and you will change the tides in a way that will surprise you. Listen, brothers and sisters, as you learn these mysteries, please use them. Don't be too big to use them. Be childlike and apply them. You will be surprised. These are not cunningly divine fables. These are things that I do myself. They are not necessarily things I'm just telling you just for, for, you know, just the sake of it. The first thing to do when you are in need of strange intervention is engage in the ministry of prayer. Number one, please quickly, prayer. I'll give you two scriptures and then we'll, we'll be able to look at two. Write it down, please. Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11 talks about Peter. Don't, don't project it. I just want to hurry up. In Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11, the Bible tells us how that James was caught by Herod. He was beheaded. And when it pleased the Jews, he now caught Peter and locked him. And then the Bible says the brethren began to pray. Whilst they began to pray, an angel came into the prison, brought Peter out. Peter even thought he was having a vision until he took him out and then Peter was free. We see that prayer was part of the instruments that were used, was used to bring strange and divine intervention. Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11. Please write this down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. It's a long reading. Don't project it. Just write it down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. This was um, a scenario where Paul casted out the demon from the lady that was using divination to prophesy. And then the people got angry and they mobbed them, you know, and then the Bible says that they chained them and they were kept under the custody of a jailer. Then the Bible says Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and the Bible says everyone in the prison heard them. All of a sudden there was an earthquake. And then the Bible says the things broke and all doors open. I like that. All doors. It didn't say some doors. When the chain broke, all doors. The doors of the prison of other people connected to them also open. All doors open. Prayer can open doors. James chapter 5 verse 13. Maybe you can project that. He said, is any of you afflicted? Let him pray. Prayer is the... Re biblical recommendation for affliction if any of you afflicted he said let him pray so whenever you are afflicted the key is to pray you may not know what to do i'm teaching you what to do now but regardless of what the situation is pray especially engaging in the spirit the most the most sound way to engage warfare prayers especially is to pray in the spirit first as you pray in the spirit the holy spirit begins to construct the scriptures in your mind you will not utter them just as words you will utter them as prophecies that's what we leave to bring the result so the first key is not just to start talking uh, you take out time and pray in the spirit that's why it is important to be filled with the holy ghost with a clear evidence of praying in tongues it's not a phenomenon for Pentecostals there is a dimension of victory you will never be able to command are we blessed is any among you afflicted has any of you received a bad report has any of you been told that you have so 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 time to live has any strange spirit appeared to anybody and said you will not see Christmas so when others are rejoicing don't join them the key is not to get up and cry has any stranger come to you while you sleep and try to molest you and you just got up and said this thing has come again no sir has the door for close towards you so the people who used to help you suddenly have changed the people who used to like you suddenly have changed the doors that used to bring you blessings have changed Something is suddenly happening to your spiritual life. Prayer zero. Word life zero. You need an intervention. Prayer. The scripture I want us to read now is Psalms 18. Never forget this scripture. It's one of the arsenals that I have for my personal um, 
is a scripture that has blessed me. I have prayed this scripture. If, if this scripture was a shook, by now I would have, maybe the soul would have eaten into pieces. I'm giving you a piece of my secret place. Psalm 18. Don't ever forget that scripture. Don't ever forget it for as long as you live. If you are a leader going far, this is a chief tool that you need. We are going to read from verse 1 to 6. Then I'll pick for you the verses we are reading. It's a long verse. Ready? Please give it to us. 1 to 6. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Listen. My God, my strength in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord. I will do what? Call upon the Lord in prayer. Who is worthy to be praised. So by calling upon him. Shall I be saved from my enemies. Verse 4. The sorrows of death compass me. This is a man in trouble. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compass me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, hallelujah. I didn't discuss it with people who cannot help me. I called upon the Lord and cried upon unto my God. He heard my voice from out of his temple. And my cry came before him. Even to where? Even to his ears. There is a kind of cry that enters the ears of the mighty God. Let's jump to verse 14, then to 17, then 40 to 45. It's a quick reading. Verse 14. Yea, he sent out his arrows. God has arrows. So, hey, look up. I learned this. I was checking arrows. You know, arrows that fly by day. And then I found out that it's not only the devil. God, the Bible says, yeah, this is him intervening for me. These are part of the forces from his cabinet of judgment that he can release. He says he sent out his arrows and scattered them. And he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. 17. Please give us 17. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me for they were too strong for me. Verse 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemy that I may destroy them that hate me. They cried but there was none to save them. Even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. 42. We are really reading to 48. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. And did cast them out of the dirt in their streets. 43. Oh dear. Media. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. And thou hast made me the head of the hidden. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Pastor, you need this for your ministry. Oh. When you open a branch in a locality that you don't know, there are people who need to come and As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves to me. 45. Verse 45. The stranger shall shake, fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Now, 47 to 48 is a scripture I don't want you to ever forget. Ready? Go ahead. Give us, well, go to 47. Go to 47. It is God that avenged me and subdued the people under me. Who did it? Who did it? He says it is God that avenged me and subdued the people under me. 48. He delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Divine intervention. As a man of God, there are wicked forces day and night to destroy you. As a leader, there are wicked forces. But when you catch this and catch the revelation, you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And the Lord will be with you mysteriously. 
You will not travel and sit down and be shaking. Will a car jam me? Will it break my leg? Will it break my head? No, sir. Rest and quietness on the strength of scripture. Everybody say prayer. prayer. We need to learn how to call upon the Lord. Listen, do you know most people don't know how to call upon the Lord. They know how to lament. Hey, oh, you are not calling upon the Lord. You are shouting a lamentation, a, a strategy for lamentation that you inherited. He said unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, let me not be ashamed, though. Let not my enemies triumph over me. There is a way you can pray with God sometimes like anna you can't even shout it's not something you you just lie down and say oh god oh god deliver me from the shame of the wicked there are enemies that are waiting to see you fail so that it will be their prophecy fulfilled lord confound their their counsel and god will say it got to my ear i had it i'm on my way coming prayer number two the second key when you want to activate the mystery of divine intervention is to engage praise with understanding praise 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 as an instrument of warfare and praise as an instrument of faith praise as an instrument of warfare but that you are blessing him in advance listen this revelation is fast becoming a national anthem in the body of christ people are suddenly coming to the realization that praise can work wonders you know people don't know why the presence of god is still mighty in africa it's because africa is a praising continent yes yes sir yes sir they laugh at us and think that when we are dancing is nonsense praise is a mystery you want to turn around your situation no matter what you do if you have not praised there is no lord believe me lord give us understanding psalm 22 verse 3 it says thou art holy thou that inhabitest the praise of zion God makes the praise of men his habitation. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Joshua Selman. Listen, I've taught us how to praise. You don't praise God without dancing. That, that is nonsense. You are, you are singing a national anthem. It's when you are reciting national anthem that you stand and put your hand on your chest moving your body is not a sign of it's not you are not you have problems you can cry but still praise are we together is this is a it's a powerful mystery i want you to learn our father bishop david Oedeko, when he almost had a few weeks ago he almost had a plane crash that would have taken his life as soon as that happened they declared praise i said oh dear spiritual intelligence let me tell you what other people would have done they would have organized a cocktail party and said you know we and the devil, the devil said that's i'm coming back praise praise is one of the most powerful ways to disgrace the devil because you see let me tell you one of depression is the absence of laughter and joy satan uses when people are about to die there are few people who die smiling most people are depressed then they keep quiet it says that the joy of the lord shall be your strength so when there is no joy your spirit becomes broken and the bible says a broken spirit dryeth the bones you don't praise god when things are going well you praise god to make them go well listen you don't praise God when, when things are going well and you praise God. It's called thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the dance you give and the testimony you give when things have manifested. But before they manifested, it's called perfected praise. Praise with understanding. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you 
you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord most high. Hold on. Listen. Let me tell you what Satan will tell you. The moment you sing that, he will tell you, is it not your sister that just died? Is it not five carryovers we are seeing? Or God, did they not just sack you? Ah, the gentleman that has been promising to marry you, is it not by 8 a.m. this morning, he says he's not doing again? The devil brings it because he knows. You see, Satan knows that we function in the realm of the flesh, the senses. Are we together now? So he brings things that resonate with your senses. When you see them, you are now depressed. But that's the time. Anytime you are praising God, Satan says, why are you praising him? Say, no reason. I'm praising him to create my testimony. You see that? Listen. Corporate dancing and praising is good. But you must learn to do this thing alone. If it means you trusting God to get one small room for yourself for the purpose of praise, it's worth it. Oh. It's worth it. Reserve the 40000 for shoes and use it to pay for a small room. Put worship. Wake up in the night. Because there is, personally me, I don't have time to do that dance and praise in the afternoon. All kinds of calls distracting in the night oh dear oh dear ask god what i do in the night yes yes sometimes i carry koinonia documents drop it on the ground dance before it and shame the devil i carry my phone put it there I'm not dancing before them I say, Lord, you are great. I dance before you. People are coming from everywhere. Rain or no rain. Publicity or no publicity. And God says, you are doing this for me. I say, Lord, who else will I do it for? And you are celebrating him. Lord, you are faithful. And you are worshipping him. You are sweating like a fool. And while you are doing that, God is dispatching angels. Okay? Make sure you wake that guy to transfer money to his account. That hundred thousand I gave you, I didn't tell you who to send it to. Send it to him. Oh, his mother is at home. For giving back to him, send an angel there too. And my innocent mother is lying down. She'll wake up in the morning and say, Mama, where are you? Say, who are you? Say, just come. Take my praise. This our big manism has cheated us beyond imagination. This pride that you don't have results and you are still talking, you know, ah, I, how can, okay, I agree that you can't, you think I can dance? Look at me. You think, no, 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 God, I don't have that gift of dancing. It's not a competition. This is your destiny. This is breakthrough. If a thief puts a gun and says you should dance, won't you do something? Some of us, when we were in the world, you know the kind of dance demonic satanic dance that you did for the devil for free that destroyed you you got drunk dancing it a spirit entered you dancing it i'm not saying you should dance all kinds of nonsense dance in the house of god but i'm saying that there are times you need to learn to sing and dance alone with listen listen most people dance you can turn your dancing time to a nightclub and god will look at you and say you are wasting your time it is the revelation that makes the singing and the dancing profitable don't just move your body around just because you are happy. That, that's, that's entertainment. Brothers and sisters, there is the kind of dance that you dance with tears in your eyes. But you are doing it with understanding. Don't think you will only always be laughing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. No job for you. No job for your wife. No job for your five children. They are all graduates. You have prayed, oh, nothing happened. Brothers and sisters, try singing and celebrating God. Everyone in their room rejoicing. Jesus, you are full and you are just dancing. Let me tell you what will happen. The Lord will start bringing testimonies. Remember when a cow would have killed you in 1995. And you say, Lord, I remember. Oh, and you start dancing it. You are, you are compressing doubt because something is about to be created. You would dance and dance till you fall under the anointing there and get up and clean yourself and be tired and sleep and wake up and drag yourself. Brothers and sisters, you have programmed something in the spirit. 
you will get up in the morning and just dress and say father thank you and get a phone call who is this i'm seeing a document that has been here four years on my table who are you sir i finished for what did you read anyway it's not what you read where are you come quickly i like you ha you just know that praise is working praise is working Let the people praise me. Psalm 67 verse 5 to 7. Let the people praise me. It's an instruction. The earth has been programmed to deliver certain results. But let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our God, shall bless us. You can stop there. Zephaniah, it may be difficult for some of us to find, but just write media, please give it to us. Zephaniah chapter 3, let's read 14 to 20. I hope we can just quickly hurry up. Zephaniah, chapter 3, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 14. We're reading to verse 20. Listen, it says, Sing, O daughter of Zion. It's not talking about a lady, it's talking about human beings. You must read the Bible prophetically. When he says daughter, find out what he means. There are times in the Bible all people are sons. There are times all people are daughters. Are we together? So don't think he's talking to ladies. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart. O daughter of Jerusalem. We're reading to verse 20. The Lord had taken away thy judgments and has cast out thine enemy the king of israel even the lord is in the midst of thee thou shalt not see evil anymore in that day it shall be said to jerusalem fear thou not and to zion let not thine hands be slack we're reading to verse 20. give us 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with what? Singing. Singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Who are of thee. To whom the reproach of it was a burden. Verse 19. Behold at that time. I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Hmm. At that time, I will bring you again even in the time that I will gather you for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes say the Lord you read that scripture and say Lord whether you understand it or not I am dancing with this revelation that you are turning something I can see everything hey, hey. Do you see everything? I can see everything. One more time. Can see everything turning around. Please sit down. When you go back home, continue. 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 Apostle, I don't have a house. Find a tree. Find somewhere. It is a place that will give you a house, my brother. I'm staying with neighbors. I don't want to disturb them. Find somewhere behind one rock. You don't have to shout and disturb the neighborhood. Just engage in praise. Glorify God. You may be tired, but it's called a sacrifice of praise. Brothers and sisters, do this and see how things will turn in your life. There's nothing the devil can do with someone who is full of joy and glory. This gloominess that you see people tie their face around, it doesn't bring breakthrough. It adds to your sorrow. You loosen up and say, Father, you are faithful. You are tying your face around and people say, why, are you? why should I not tie my face? Will you pay my rent for me? My brother, it's praise that will pay that rent. 
So you turn everything and rejoice. Let me tell you what many people will say who see you engaging this. <laughs> they say, don't mind all these men of God. They are turning you people to be stupid. You see that? But when you meet them for rent, they won't give you. If you want God's results, follow his methods. Number three, quickly. The third key to activating the mystery of divine intervention is called seed faith. Say after me, seed faith. Listen, I know that giving has been abused. Listen carefully, please. Outside, online, listen carefully. I know that giving has largely been abused because it has looked like some manipulation and journalists and bloggers have not done justice because they have mixed everything and made it look like giving and sacrifice is some gimmicks to corner money and give a man of God. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Something I do all the time, including today. Every time you are in a situation, listen please. Every time you are in a situation that only God can step in with understanding, having prayed, package a seed, speak to that seed and give it an instruction. And sow that seed. Release. If you just sow money. It's bribery. It's not the money. Revelation. The Bible is full of the potent power of seed faith. Connecting your faith with a seed and a sacrifice. To provoke God's hand for intervention. I've done it countless times on behalf of this ministry. I've done it countless times on behalf of myself, my family, my friends, people I love. Seeds. The seed that is in your hand can create a destiny that will surprise you if you know what to do with it. Please listen to me. Don't think I'm asking you to give me money. No. There are people who when they hear this, they just frown their face. Not at all. Not at all. God has been faithful to me. Are we together? Listen. There are people who have turned their lives around overnight. If there is one thing I know in my little walk with God is that your seed can bruise the head of the serpent. I promise you. I have seen people quarter to shame. Everything was against them. It was obvious they are finished. And they used their seed and turned the hands of life in a way that you cannot imagine. My life is full of sacrifices. Psalm 126, don't turn there. Verse 1 to 6, you write it. That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said we were like them that dream. The first six verses. The, la the sixth verse ends by saying, they that sow in tears. The whole verses are connected. Verse 6 is connected to verse 1. God turning away the captivity of Zion like a dream. It says that they that sow in tears will reap in joy. He that weepeth, bearing precious seeds, the Bible says, shall doubtless return rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. It's not every seed. To be cheerful does not mean to laugh. To be cheerful means that there be a merriment in your heart. There are some times you will cry for the seeds you sow. Hallelujah. Someone came over to my place today and the Lord instructed him to bring me a seed. And quite a very serious seed. Just, you know, a military officer just came, dropped the seed. And when I saw it, the seed was in dollars. I said, wow, in this recession, this seed and the lord told me no 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 no. make sure you don't touch it this is your seed for something and the lord told me i started dancing i said thank you jesus this is it. when god gives you seed to sow his intervention oh, getting the seed to sow is an act of god's mercy that you say lord i must provoke this but i have no seed then he gives seed to the sower those who know only know how to eat anything plus their destiny, they keep getting bread. But those who want to create a future. Brothers and sisters, I have created realities in my life with seeds. 
I believe in the power of a seed. Listen, don't let people because of their cynicism. The imbalance, when a man creates an imbalance in scripture, you don't avoid that truth because it has been abused. You bring it to context and teach people. Brothers and sisters, a seed can change your life. Believe me. I have done crazy things in my life. I thank God that it's only God that reveals that, that it's only God that knows the heart of men. There are things if I tell you that I have done with seeds. Some of you, you are not related to me, but you will be angry. You will remove your shoe and stone me with it and say you are very stupid in this recession. Seeds. There was a year, I've shared it again and again, that God gave us an instruction. We were just resuming. Koinonia. And God gave an instruction. He said, so everything, everything, everything. I don't mean small. So everything, let it go. I said, thank you, Jesus. You are ready to lift us. That is revelation. By faith, Abel offered. You offer by faith. You don't offer by, by tricks and all kinds of, no, no, no. And we release it. Brothers and sisters, it didn't reach seven days seven days more than 10 times that amount came seeds i'm not saying you should give carelessly no but brothers and sisters the seed that is in your hands can silence a spirit that has destroyed your destiny for years nobody is moving forward in your family you are just sitting down and god is saying look you have to provoke heavens with a sacrifice one day you get angry and say, Lord, I am tired of this. Anna did not have money to give, but she said, Lord, let's do it. Give me the child. I've given the child already as a seed. And God said, it's a done deal. There was a king in the Bible who they wanted to slaughter and defeat. It was very clear the nation of Israel would defeat them. And he carried his son, his future, and slew the child. The Bible says an indignation rose up to heaven. Battle ended. When God wanted to redeem man, it was an issue of urgency. God carried Jesus, the lamb upon the throne, slew him. Jesus cried and God said, that's not the issue. Man must be saved. This greed over the little we have is what has destroyed us. Get used to money leaving you to go and wait for you in your future. Get used to it. You may not have a seed, but brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there are many ways to give. Money is not the only seed. It's just the seed that can easily be exchanged. That's why. There are times that people have made radical sacrifices. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? principles of divine intervention trace your life at the moment where God gave you specific instructions that you did things that almost brought tears from your eyes and watch what happened you just did not study it enough to know how to keep it going mm. I hardly share my testimonies I stopped because I found out that it annoys a lot of people and I'm not ready to attract unnecessary um, you know people once they hear preachers talk there are people who just get angry just like that it's nonsense brothers and sisters learn to sow seeds but the most powerful part of sowing seeds is to give them instructions this is the mistake many of us have been making you package a seed some of you come and join the line apostle here is a seed i'm sowing i always ask people what is this for and the people say for nothing just i just feel like seeing you that's a donation that's a donation brothers and sisters all seeds are not the same there is a seed you give to the poor there is something it does to you there is a seed that you give to widows and orphans. There is a kind of result. There is a seed you put on the ground because you are tired of where you are. If the word of God were a lie, I would have died since. 
Because the risk I've taken with this word, it would have killed me since. But I believe him. I believe him. When I saw that seed today, I was happy. The joy that filled my heart. I await the testimony that comes from it. Wanting a harvest that you have not scheduled to sowing is a waste of time. It's, imagine now, somebody who didn't go to the farm. He has a land somewhere. He just carries his wife and his children and carries a truck and he just goes to an empty place. You will find wheat there. But whoever sowed January, February down to April is smiling right now because he knows it's harvest time. Brothers and sisters, I pray for us. May God kill greed from our life. This attachment to money, listen. This many people think wealthy people are the ones who are attached to money. It's a lie. Wealthy people in the kingdom have become wealthy because they have conquered it. Your seed is an instrument that creates your future. Hallelujah. Learn to release seeds. Learn to release seeds. Learn to release seeds. I'll never forget a gentleman who sent me a text. He sowed a seed. I remember it was when he sent me the text. Truly speaking, I remember. They sowed seeds and I was opening the envelopes. Most times it takes, it honestly takes a while. Maybe some days before I even open the envelope to see what is there and pray on it. And I opened the envelope and I saw five naira and a letter. The guy said this five naira was his Isaac. I know you will laugh and say, hey, hey, this stupid boy, no. I respected that because that, that thing I knew will create a harvest. And the guy, I opened it and wrote some things like that. And then I just felt led to pray for him. Do you know it didn't reach two weeks? The guy sent me a text and said, I have never in my life seen favor like this. Five naira. It's not about the money. It's about the heart. Somebody was tired of where how many jobless people have not sown anything and they keep moving around with CV. What must tell you the devil is fighting you? You carry a seed and say, God, please. I'm married with three children, no job. This mockery must end. I drop this and I tie it to my job. And then praise around that seed. Praise around the seed. And your brothers and sisters say, so this is what they are teaching you. This is how these stupid men of God keep eating your money. And all of a sudden, the heaven opens. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. You are praying to buy land. Oh Lord, please give me two million naira to buy land. I now have 150,000. Just top it up for me. And God says, you mustn't buy it. Just learn. Let me show you. And all of a sudden, someone stands up and blesses you. I think it was you, Jimmy. I was showing you. Was it yesterday? I was showing him the documents of a property that was given to me recently. I said, God, what is this? What is this? For as long as you sow, whether you like it or not, the law is that you must reap. So if you have not sown anything, stop, stop saying, God, where is my harvest? And he said, what, what are you saying? A woman who does not take in, is she expecting a child? No, sir. No, sir. She do seasons of breakthrough in your life. Your seed is a weapon. Not just your prayer. Your seed is a weapon. Your seed is a weapon. One mama called me one time. I was led by God. Honestly, I felt so. I didn't know how to talk to her because she sounded like an elderly woman. And she was praying for divine financial intervention. I said, Mama, please, I want you to sow a seed. Not to me. I, I, I would never have the effrontery to tell that woman to sow into my life. I'm sure that woman will be older than my mother. I said, please try, connect with a seed. And the woman said, she doesn't have anything. I said, it's not true, Mama. There is something you have. What do you do? She said, she farms yam. I say carry four or five tubers of yam. Find any church. I said, which church is close around your area? She said, there's living faith. I said, go there. Find four tubers of yam. Tie it and be praying, singing any song in your language you know while you march to the pastor's, um, uh, what do you call it? The pastor's office. Whether the pastor is eating the yam or not is not his business. 
Only a stupid man of God resents the seed of a desperate believer. It's not whether you are more than 50% of the things people sow into my life, I don't need it. It's not for me. I recognize what it is. Is God speaking to someone? Seed faith. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. Learn to connect. In 1 Kings 17, when our time is gone, just write it. We don't have to project it. 1 Kings 17 from verse 7 to 6. From verse 7 to 16. 1 Kings chapter 17, when you read from verse 7 to verse 16. The Bible talks there about Brook Cherith when it dried during the famine. And the Bible says that the Lord told Elijah to go to a place called Zarephath. And he said there was a widow there. God wanted to intervene in that widow's life. When the prophet got there, he said, give me water. She was running to go and bring water. And he said, please, and make some bread for me. And the woman said, I'm sorry, man of God. I respect you, but honestly, this is the last one I'm about to eat with my son so that we'll just wait until we die. And the prophet said, no, no. When you give, it does not end. When you give, you extend the life of whatever it is. The prophet was teaching her. He said, make it for me first. In our generation, they say that's a heartless and wicked and devilish prophet. But the moment she did that, the Bible says she lived off what was there until the famine was over. You can change your life. November, December is too short a time. No. November, December is too short a time, brothers and sisters. God can step into your life and do something in your life that you cannot imagine. Don't be surprised that you'll be celebrating New Year in your own house. Whereas right now you don't even have land. I'm talking to believers. Don't be surprised that you can give away up to 5, 10 million by December. Whereas what you have in your account now is not up to 10,000. Listen, I'm not talking nonsense. I'm not stupid. Don't be surprised. That after 10, 20 years that your wife has been buried, that she's going to celebrate New Year two months pregnant. You do every calculation, you know it's not up to two months, but she's two months pregnant. Don't ask where the child came from. That right now, you are not even sure where your certificate is because you are tired, you have thrown it somewhere. But don't be surprised that you will be managing a business by the end of this year. Is it not God we are talking about? Is it not the God of heaven we are talking about? Number four. The fourth key is the power of prophecy. The power of the prophetic. Weapons of supernatural intervention. The power of prophecy. Second Kings chapter 7 verse 1 to 8. We've already discussed it. Just write it down. Second Kings chapter 7 from verse 1 to 8. The story of Elisha in Samaria. And the abundance that came to an entire land because there was a divine intervention by prophecy. Hosea chapter 12 from verse 13. Please give it to us. The Bible says, and by a prophet. Listen carefully. And by a prophet. It says... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. How did they come out of Egypt? By a prophet. Not by God. You would think God would say, oh, by me. Yes, it is by God. But the instrument that he used was a prophet. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. Listen. Listen. There are challenges that people go through in life that is totally needless. If only they can locate a genuinely anointed prophet of God, you can come out of a situation overnight. Some battles are totally needless. They are products of pride and ignorance. Take note of these things I'm saying. Pride and ignorance. Some battles are totally needless. There is enough grace and anointing to bail people out of it. 
a gentleman had been writing, I think it was Wayek or Neko, I can't remember, for over maybe six, seven years. I remember one time he came and he was crying. I didn't allow him to finish. I said, that's all right. Let me pray for you. It is done. And he just went and the guy testified that truly speaking, he answered nonsense in the exam because his brain had, he had stretched the thing. He has passed the age that he should be concentrating to be reading for Wayek. And yet it came out, he had all credits like that. And he said, truly, this is my result. I said, of course, it's not your result. God gave you to help you move forward. Of course, it's not your result. When other people are celebrating their intelligence, you go to God and say, thank you, this one you gave me. There are things when other people are saying, I got, you turn to God and say, this one came from you. Prophetic intervention. Brothers and sisters, God still has anointed men. No? Yes. An anointed man is not a man who speaks well. An anointed man is not a man who throws people under the anointing. There are people who are privileged by the election of grace. That God has put ancient, ancient possibilities within them for the sake of the body. Your own price is to believe. They may not look like it, but they carry it. What you have, you have. It was given to you. Are we together? I truly believe that someone tonight, I told us the remaining services for this year will be very strongly prophetic services. And it will start from tonight. Just the five minutes or so we have to pray. And then I speak over your life. When prophecy comes, receive it. Receive it. You can reject it. But you can receive it. Do you know? I listen to every koinonia message. This message now that is being preached. It's not Joshua Selman. This is the man of God teaching. Joshua Selman will listen to the man of God later in the week. And when it's time to prophesy, I will lift my hands and receive and pray in tongues. Otherwise, I will keep blessing and the anointing that came from the throne through me. Through me. I must also receive it by faith. Please drop your pride, drop everything, and let's cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, step in, step in, step in. Change my story. Don't pretend like everything is working. Change my story. Lord, I thank you. A and B and C area, they are working well. I give you the glory. But Lord, this area, I've, I've come before you tonight, trusting you for grace. Trusting you for grace. Trusting you for grace. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side. To bring his word to pass. He reigns. He reigns. outside you may be online it doesn't matter if you cannot insist listen if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir you do not deserve it there must be a desperation 
you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where god produces miracles so you, you you are going to have to trust god get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray john 15 if you can give it to us john 15 let's look at something jesus said john 15 let me show you how passionate jesus is in us producing results john 15. we'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8. listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find um, um fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the vine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me he can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse eight if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now herein is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces results so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an, 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 an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, uh, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his name's sake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his name's sake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you're not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing 
is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he said no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you you, you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it, let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i had and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Oh, sir to produce one song in lagos is two hundred and fifty thousand. he say okay how many tracks do you have 10 
and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we're going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david Dam, you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life. Divine acceleration. Triumph. Triumph. Shaka Pataya. Triumph. By the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters. Let me tell you the truth. Get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they will help you when you are in trouble you will be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment not to build a house for building sake not to buy a car for buying a car sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you 
and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because you came listen brothers let me talk to you do you know right now please come when you see a gentleman like this do you know if this gentleman is successful many elders will ask him what are you doing in other words how come your life is this fast society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up god wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve god that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many And we're standing here only because you And we're standing here only because you made a way. Made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked the sick, it was over you. hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week 
God is my witness. They spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of god please koinonia pray pray Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Outside, are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command exempt yourself exempt yourself Exempt yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden from, shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing
Alleluia. Alleluia. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. If Satan finds what belongs to him in you, he's authorized to destroy you. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Lord, whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny, I apply the blood. I invoke the mystery of the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Legal access. I apply the blood. Are you praying? I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now I tell you I'm angry in my spirit Luke 18 verse 1 please quickly Luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there God is a God of vengeance listen listen I know that's the nasty side of God but the God I serve is not only merciful God, there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a God of vengeance he said let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry Lord avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family Koinonia pray Arise Soko Topakaya Righteousness and justice At the foundations of his throne Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against the wicked Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against evildoers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again Lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh God of vengeance arise oh God of vengeance 
Arise, O God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes. Married a man that God had blessed. And then the man died. As soon as the man died, strangers came from left, right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this. They stripped that woman to the last of everything. Banished her and her children to go. Men, they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain. No, you rejoice in my pain, the God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you, only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today They kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tithing these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges i may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root he says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life. The root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands. The root cause. Are you praying? hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving god visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first 
so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of jesus you are here and you are saying man of god is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you i'm speaking to and i'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside let jesus christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight god bless you keep coming man of god you don't know what i've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to jesus run to jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. 
thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise, we give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd we'll like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person, one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly, we have a lot to do tonight. And we want to conserve time. Sapra kosi proto supra takata balada. Jekreto salabara toshita. Sapra to karabara balada. Sapra to gapra sopra digiri balada. Shekato sepre tishita. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visitors in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. Visitors, visitors. Doesn't mean other people are not in touch, but particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. hallelujah praise the lord let me pray now father in the name of jesus christ i'm praying there are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives their destinies in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating 
the tragedies in your life as we shout that name Jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden God will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two three they must go from the hiding place they must depart from the hiding place they must depart from their hiding place at the sound of his voice I command every spirit I command every devil strange spirits tying down the destinies of men I command you right now there is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside the power of witchcraft being broken being broken being broken God is addressing issues of oppression oppression Shakataya it must end now it must come to an end now it must come to an end now lift your hands hallelujah I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay that's what God wants to deal with right now God wants to deal with it you don't need to know whether you belong to the category the fire of God will locate you right now father I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost anyone under the sound of my voice shakatabakata under the yoke of setbacks whether you are a visitor whether you've been here for a long time in the name of Jesus I command that spirit to leave you now I command that spirit to leave you now the power of God is touching people delay, delay, delay delay you are a strange spirit I curse you by the God of heaven delay in destiny delay in achievement I curse that spirit I curse that spirit I curse that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit hello madonna hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is giving me a strange instruction please sisters lay your hands on your womb lay your hands on your stomach something remarkable is going to happen here right now there is a kind of deliverance God is doing I don't know what I'm even doing but Lord I pray right now this is not for everybody but I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands and I'm going to pray a prayer for you you'll be surprised every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now release them now Release them now! 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 Release their destinies! Release their destinies! Hallelujah. 
Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cast that witchcraft now i cast that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place I'm seeing children being delivered. Some initiated into occultism. Some initiated into this. Let's just walk the way God is. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation. Wherever they are, don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting. Now, wherever they are, inside and outside, I'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now I set them free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, lift your hands. That gentleman going. Tap him. Hi. There is hardship in your family. And the Lord is asking me to cause it. Right now in the name of Jesus, I cause hardship. Let the anointing of the spirit come on you now. I curse that spirit. The spirit of hardship. I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen, if you are here and you have any blood disease, just blood disease, any kind, any kind, blood related issue, Lay your hand on your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Blood related issue. Genotype. Whatever it is. Um, or any kind of thing. Maybe any sickness that is blood related. Please. I want to pray for you right now. The Lord is giving me that instruction. Very quickly. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is as god is about to change her genotype now 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 a dramatic change of genotype from as to ss from as to aa by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. If you come from a family where no one in your family is working, lift your hands. Nobody, no job. Nobody, just, please just do what I'm asking you to do. Let's save time. Just lift your hands. Nobody at all is working. No matter what happens, just lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus. 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 I'm, I'm looking at hands lifted and, and for some of the hands I'm seeing like a rope. This is not necessarily you. This is a representation of your family and I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Get ready for the power of God. Right now, wherever you are, even those who didn't lift their hands, I decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. I release them. I release them. I release their jobs. I release their jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 We end joblessness here right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One, seven. One, seven. One, seven. At the count of four. This is the instruction God gives me. Unusual access to illumination. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. One. Ta -ba -ta 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 -ta. Two. Three. Strange illumination. Four. Take it now. Take it now. The spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom. On common access. 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 I release it in the spirit. Access. 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 Hallelujah. Please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts Strange manifestations of power, of power, healing anointings, healing anointings. I activate healing anointings right now. Healing anointings. Step into it. Step into it. Outside, inside. Step into it. God is releasing mantles, mantles of healing, ancient mantles of healing, ancient mantles. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Healing barren cases. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. God wants to release the healing anointing. Let's just stay here with this healing thing. God wants to release. There are many more people. I'm not seeing them receive it yet. Father, you want to release this grace. There is such a grace as a healing anointing. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado. May the power of God come on you now. Everyone, everyone, everywhere, men, women, take it. Take it. Take it, fire, 
upon your spirit. Hello, him, Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him, Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him, Adonai. I don't know how we are going to manage this now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now, as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. Why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not called into a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now Receive it, receive it. It's coming on people. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, it's coming on you. So that you will go and prosper. 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now. One of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight. For the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God 
to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting god i want to release that grace now and i want you to believe it some of you had destiny help us but something happened and they left your life some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm saying this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace the words you speak turns things around help me Chains are gone. God help me now. Hey, 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 hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people 
I release the grace. You won't control yourself physically. Running, speed, physically. I release that grace now. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Right now. Right now. I command you to run. Run in the spirit. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. I release speed. I release speed. I release speed. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Words you speak, confess around your arms. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. You took away the chains and that held me back. Held me back. Hey, holy. Mercy. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on, please, everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now, we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones, please I permit you put on your phone and call them, tell them to send it as a text message, write it. We are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of God to fall on request. Don't assume if you have not written it, no problem. Settle down, think well and write. You are here, you are trusting God for healing. I understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we're going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who, who is around again is femi around Okay, so you can just come and help me here. So let's do it that way, very fast. Very, very fast. If there are more people, there are see Promise is here. Michael is here. So maybe you can add one. Okay, Promise, just follow. Promise, follow Pastor Jakes. Michael, follow Ejimi. Please, let's do it very, very fast. While, hold on please. Don't be distracted. Don't cut the flow. We are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i'd like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you 
so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir station here you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs I, has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't the hand, I can lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in jesus i believe you believe in the power of I jesus believe. lord i introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now in the name of jesus christ huh the lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come come try to walk gently come give me the stick look at me look at your stick come come Don't be afraid, come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this thing. Look at this. 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 a chair and just keep him let him sit down while the power of God touches him sir you came here by yourself um trust him okay and the boy has gone okay he's somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ the God you believe has begun this miracle you will perfect it look for a stick for him there hold your stick by yourself and go don't put it on the ground hold it up walk by yourself and go give Jesus praise look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here someone is still sick here i'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me someone is still sick here no 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 i'll pray for you but i'm saying i feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down choir someone is sick come let me pray for you you came out lift your hands jesus someone is still sick here Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people this has affected is one of the worst 
things that can happen to a man in marriage and the Lord is bringing a miracle right now right now elder brother supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue I see a transference of grace from a Jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing it's a strange God, God is giving two of them strange favor strange favor I see strange favor strange favor America God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, God is giving strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, this is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people. When I've destined it to be this year, as I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, it's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year my god hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that I would directly call your case and you, you, you pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and I didn't call your case the power of God is coming on you now now as a sign that God had now wherever you are he's locating you now now I command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I stretch my hands now and I command by the power of the Holy Ghost let her go now peace to your spirit every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah pastor Jake is still playing outside okay we can just do it this is a listen there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss ah, there is I mean God is just doing certain things it's like something is really happening don't worry about what is happening impartations God see let me tell you right now if the anointing comes on you just know that is the answer to your prayer this is not a special once the anointing comes on you just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if they are not if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone please stretch your hands here and pray in the holy ghost please pastor jakes come what do you mean please okay he's writing something just stretch your hands here and pray and pray in the holy ghost stretch your hands and pray in the holy ghost from the depth of your heart stretch your hands stretch your hands here and pray in the holy ghost no leave her. pray in the holy ghost Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata bakata. So poto so peke te te te. Miracles, so God. Testimony, so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The spirit of God is moving over the prayer request visiting families releasing angels releasing angels visiting the request i'm seeing the cloud of god's presence visiting the prayer request savior he can move a mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever on the salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. 
the heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus it has been decreed it has been ratified and it is done in the name of Jesus Lord we say thank you Lord we say thank you we say thank you exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask above all that we imagine is done in the name of Jesus we give you praise father we thank you we thank you we thank you in Jesus name we have decreed come on give Jesus praise give Jesus mighty praise hallelujah please let me still come pastor Jake's come I just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but I want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of Jesus they are my friends but the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of God in power but in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of Jesus I speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access I command that grace strange access strange access by the power of the Holy Ghost strange access gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of Jesus and pastor Jake's God is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release I told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the Lord is saying I should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete Legeteto a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of Jesus a new chapter listen I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. 
I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I command uh -uh. I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open. And I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out. And I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, I speak it right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be open, open, open. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Shakatatata. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. Ah. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now, touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway. Benway, strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft. Benway. I'm seeing Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to go, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? or to buy or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 strange breakthrough strange breakthrough benway 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 i don't know why god is doing this but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now. Strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state. Miracles. Miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to emo states, 
by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River. Cross River, help her, help her please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands everyone. It's the minister of signs and wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear, this lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he is bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he is bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he is bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, Shapakata, Skaparato Sabade Alana, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. 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 That fair lady, come. This lady, time. Run, come. Lift your hands. I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus my dear look at me i saw you inside a cave and i'm surprised because we've paid for for deliverance prayer and I saw you inside the cave you are just trying to push the door that's why I asked you to come out let me I don't know you do I know you where did you come from where where is that I don't know. Here in Zaria, I'm going to pray for you God is bringing a major breakthrough two things God is going to throw somebody out of your life I'm not a prophet of doom but it will happen he will reach three days huh? throw completely so that you can move forward I hold your hands in the name of Jesus, every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person, but your relationship with Jesus, you, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not dead though, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen i lay my hands on you and i provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers i want to pray for you i don't know where they are but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. 
I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny. I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray May God put them on the scene as he lifts you. May they watch your rising as God honors you. I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down. Prayer life down. Your praise and worship life down. Fasting down. Word life down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate fresh grace. Receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water but when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata in the name of the Lord Jesus I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now take it I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny hallelujah two more prayer points and we are done hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause 
Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The Bible says, defend you in the day of trouble. There are many of us, if for any reason things go wrong in your life, you are in trouble. There is nobody that can arise as a defense. But I'm prophesying to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors, I call them forth right now. In the name of Jesus, may God raise men to be a wall of defense for you. In this wicked, um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country, people say if you don't have anybody, and honestly speaking, somebody can get up and come and seize your land. You and your land and your paper, they will collect it because there is no defense. I'm prophesying again. Quarter to shame. May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? Honor is when God anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation. So for every one person who talks nonsense, there are thousands. Honor. Jabez said, oh, the, the mother bore him in sorrow. You brought shame for me. So I call you Jabez. Honor is more than money, brothers and sisters. The Bible says a good name is better than riches. I pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that man to right now take that man to right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am. Oh, was and was. And he is to Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline